In this video, we're going to take you take a look at how to get started with validations on date fields. Uh, and really how to work with the date picker item. So to start with, we're going to go ahead here and create a new region. We're just going to call it form. Next, uh, we're going to go ahead and drop a hot button, a submit button into our form. Now, we're not going to wire this to a page, uh, you know, a database today, just for the sake, because we're focused on validations, but you get the idea. Uh, we're going to make sure that on, uh, you know, when it's submitted, we always execute validations. Next, we're going to go to our items and take our date picker uh, and just drop it on the page. We'll call it P1 underscore date. Now, if you're new to the date picker, uh, there's quite a bit you can do over here. Uh, one of the things that I always like to do first is set the format mask so you can uh, you know, when the person selects it from the pop-up, you can sh see how it shows. In this case, I'm going to select uh, the YYMMDD format. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit save here, and I'll run the page so you can see what it looks like. Now, in this particular case, uh, if we want to see, uh, you can, we can actually see all the years. Uh, we can see the months. You know, we can go back and we could even pick pick a day uh, if we wanted wanted to as well. Uh, but for the sake of today, one of the first things we're going to do is actually limit the range uh, by which we want the date picker to to offer values to our users. Common thing. So we can do that dynamically with an item, but statically, uh, which is the quickest way, we'll just show you how to set that. Set our minimum, and then we'll set our max. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. We'll run it again. And this time when we look at the date picker, if I go back in, you can see that we've essentially limited uh, what, what appears uh, as well. Now let's take this one step further. Let's say, for some reason, uh, we want a validation uh, that only enables people in the year 2021 to submit data if the day is Tuesday. Okay, So it becomes, maybe it's Taco Tuesday. And you can only submit those orders on a Tuesday. So let's go over here. We'll do uh, create validation. Uh, we're going to call this Um, down here, we're going to set the type to just be a, a function body returning a boolean, uh, and we're going to write a, uh, write a little bit of code. Now, if we look at this code, we can see that we start with declaring a variable day of the week. Uh, we're going to basically do a query against the database to get the day of the week that is selected in the box um, by the user. Um, and then if it is a Tuesday, we'll return true, meaning that the submit will go through, else we're going we're gonna to throw an error. You definitely want to validate this uh, each time, so we'll go ahead. Um, we're going to check the always execute because we always want it to run. And last but not least, we're going to paste in our error message. All right, let's go ahead and save this. I'll go out and run it. All right, so let's say that I want to go in and it's the 15th. I'm going to try to submit this. You can see our validation has checked it. Data entry must be a Tuesday, telling us to adjust. Similarly, if I go in and actually change this, so let's set it to a Tuesday, and I hit submit, you'll see that it goes through without the validation firing. So that's a quick look at some fun things you can do with date validations in Apex.